Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa here in our Park Life City. Thank you very much for joining me. So I've just been doing a little little bit of off camera work uh, between episodes because I really wanted to get my traffic flow working better in this city. Now if we sort of take an overview of this city, this is where we started. So as usual, we just have one uh, entry off of a highway, and then we've sort of built off of that. Uh, later on, we added another entry off the highway over here, but any cars coming down from this side are always going to take this route in. Until we can start buying some other squares, then we'll have you know, a route coming in over here somewhere, maybe this middle section by the side of our uh, amusement park or something like that, just to spread the traffic around. Um, but the traffic... Uh, overall, if I remember correctly, was sort of hovering around the 70, 69, 70, 71%. So what have I done to try and help with that? Well, first of all, this we've got the main road sort of going through. We've got this one big main road that comes down the middle here. Uh, when this roundabout splits, we've got like another big main road down there. And then we've got this sort of edge main road down here. It doesn't get used as much. Uh, but this one here, this one here, and this one here, pretty big. They go all the way through the city. One, two, and three. And this one, there's like another little one there. That's not too bad. So those three big arterial roads through the city really, really, really take up a lot of traffic. That was a quick auto save. Excuse the jump. So what have I done? Well, this one over here has actually got trams on it, which start down there. So I've changed this. It was a four-lane road. I've changed it to four-lane with tram. Uh, beg your pardon. Six-lane with tram. Trams on the outside. Four lanes in the middle with the trees. Uh, that'll increase the trees and the higher tier roads. Always increase the value of the land around them as well. Be interesting to see what the value is around there. Yeah, high. But there we go. Yeah, high land value. So that tells you something. And that's helped a lot. So instead of it being four lanes but two of them taken up with the trams is now six lanes we've got four lanes for traffic and the tram have got their own two lanes and that goes all the way down this section here this isn't the busiest of the roads but it's increased the land value and it's where the heck were you going cutting in through the fence there but it's really cleared up any other sort of lingering bits of traffic that we had. And it's put the tram stops on the outside rather than in the middle. And it seems that even though they will walk to the middle, they're not holding up the traffic as much to get to the middle. Because they're not having to use all the crossroads to get over to the middle and all that sort of thing. So that has worked out quite well. I've done that all the way down. Yeah, all the way down to the end here. And the tram stops there. Where does the tram go? Tram goes... Oh, no, the tram comes straight down. That's right. So I've done it all the way down to here, to this little turning area by the metro and the uh, zoo over there. So that's worked out well. Apart from the dead person at the zoo, uh, lots of people are getting into the zoo, which is good. Which is good. Making money on there. So that's what I've done on that road. And then... Is that a fire? Did I just see a fire? No, we're fine. And then the main road coming in here. I've sort of changed this a few times. I still want to do a little something here. But I've done a similar thing. We had this as a four lane, a big four lane road. This is now six lane all the way down. And as you can see, traffic is moving. There's no sort of backups to speak of. The odd little junction where people are coming in and out from the side. But overall, this is moving really, really well. We follow. It gets a bit busy down the end here. And that might be because I've got things like this. Oh, as, it, as you can see, yes, I've put the bus lanes in here as well. So we've got four lanes for traffic, two lanes for the buses. We've got the buses here. So they're no longer stopping the traffic as much, which is good. So even though we haven't actually increased the amount of lanes for traffic, that's still four, the buses have their own lanes. And that's really helped sort of clear up all of this space. And that just goes all the way down to the end, all the way over here, all the way down to there. And that's not so busy. So that has helped. Um, something else I've done. So coming back to the start over here. Oh, I've also upgraded the roads along the river here to the same. Six lane. Because they were backing up quite a bit. Uh, this bit with the tram. I've sort of left it as it is, to be honest. Because it's working okay. So I've not upgraded every single road just for no reason. That one's fine. And do you know what's weird in this one? The other city... You may not have seen yesterday's episode, I think it was, or the day before. 
where I was trying to get my tram roundabout, monorail roundabout thing all hooked up. And when I was using the rows that had the tram line in the middle going to the outside, they would never hook up. And this one hooks up fine and it's got absolutely no problems. So, a mm, bit odd. I don't know why, but there we go. So, looking at this, this is now three lanes going round one way, as you can see, because there's three lanes in, three lanes out, three lanes in and out, uh, three lanes in and out, and then this is just two lanes going in. That's fine. I don't believe we have any traffic lights or anything on there. So, that is just going as it is, which is good. This bit here tends to back up. Now, what we did have here... Let's grab some roads. By the way, demand marks is off. We're just letting things balance a bit. We need some more industry, which is fine. We used to have, like, these roads connect. There and there. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Hang on a second. Ah! Get out of that one. Oh, for goodness sake. That one there. There we go. There we go. There we go. So we had that road connected there, that road connected there. We had this road connected there. So it's too many junctions. There we go. Another one there. So what I've done is I've deleted the one that's nearest uh, the junction there. And we sort of alternated it. So that one goes that way. 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 And then to get into this area down here, I've just done these little, little loops at the end. And I've sort of done similar over here. I've just deleted that one. Delete in, delete. That one should be gone as well, shouldn't it? Where does that go? Yeah, let's delete that one. And then let's just connect that road to there. Yeah, there we go. That'd be good. Fill in any gaps. Excellent. So that has worked quite well. It, it's sort of helping with this flow of traffic. And now, actually, I've left it running for a while. This really isn't backing up too far. I can't tell if these cars are parked or if they're... We really shouldn't have... Yeah, they're parked. We should not have any parking. If I do shift, it will just do that junction, won't it? I really think we should have no parking along this section here because it's so busy. There's probably plenty of other areas we should have no parking as well. And then as we get down here... Yeah, let's do it all the way down. That just makes sense. No parking down there. I don't think these have parking anyway, and I don't think those have parking. No, so we're fine. There we go. So that should ease that a bit. There's no parking on the roundabout, no parking down there. Yeah, good. Whoops, wrong button. I always think when I've got that open, I should be able to press escape to close it. That's why. So now none of this is backing up. This is all moving nicely. And if you have a look out here, there's now no backup up there at all, which is absolutely fantastic. Still a bit slow coming over some of these rows. We could do with sort of a flyover over this one i think and maybe that one there but overall it's not too bad a couple of spots slow down they may be yeah see there's no traffic lights we've got that stopping so that should just go through what i'm going to do is turn that off and turn that off i'm going to do it a different way we're going to do it this way with that one so we're going to say here you've got to give way You've got to give away. And I'm hoping that means that these cars just keep going and don't stop in the junction. Let's just see how that goes. Yeah, I think they still they still sort of stop and unless you put in junction restrictions. This one here, which stops car that says cars will not enter this junction if there's traffic. So if we turn that one off, and we turn that one off. There, look, you see them, they will now enter the junction and just keep going. Which sort of means these guys are never going to get a chance to come out. But it does sort of keep it flowing. I think it just depends whether this is a main... Yeah, see, this is backing up, backing up. They're not really getting a chance to go, are they? Let's, let's leave it like it was. We'll do that. I might just turn off the crossing here. Although there's not many people crossing there. Just... Can I do that? No. Yeah, I can't sort of turn off the crossing. We'll, we'll stop the crossing there. Although... Hmm, if I put a crossing in there... To make up the fact I've turned that one off. And I might put a crossing in there to make up for the fact I'm going to turn this one off. Uh, so if we grab junction restrictions, grab that. No crossing, no crossing. 
and I think I did the this one. Yes. Huh, so we'll leave that. I don't know what these guys are doing in this red lane here. But they are turning into that. See, this guy here, What what is he doing in there? Have I got... Yeah, see, I've got none of these set up. So they should just go into there. Let's actually do that. You can go to there. Oh, no, hang on a sec. No, 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 no. If I start doing that, I'm going to have to do the whole junction again, aren't I? Maybe he just made a mistake. We'll let him off. Can you please let me turn that one off? There we go. Thank you. Whoa, we see that guy there. Whoa, up. Nope, changed my mind. So suddenly, even though it was working all okay... This has hitched up a bit. So, I'm going to show you my traffic now. And now, when I looked at this before I started recording, um, it got up to 85%. And I was like, that's amazing. Um, I don't think it's going to be that now. Because this has really started to back up. Look. What is that guy doing? Oh, he's waiting to go down there. Let's see what it is. I reckon it's back down to like 72 or something. 75. Okay. Okay. But it's just this bit here. I, I tell you what it is. We want to get this junction out of here, don't we? If we take that off of there, where can they come in instead? They could come down there. We could have it connect here instead, and they could come across here and up. Would that be... Yeah, look at all these buses flowing down there. This lane, sit this. Oh, it's got the bus station. Whatever made me want to put a bus station in the middle of all of this. Well, look at the people waiting for that stop there. What stop are they waiting for? Uh, doesn't actually. Oh, this stop here. Here we go. Line details. Buy fuel buses. So this is going train ferry to bus station. So where's that coming from? Down over there somewhere. I don't know how many people are waiting. 240, 280. Wow, that is... So if we like, add another 10 buses, they take 30 each. That's another 300. Over time, that will put a dent in that. But that is like the worst place to have a bus station on this really busy road. So I'm thinking we need to move that somewhere like over here could we make use of this space have it come up this road and join there I mean I know there's no bus lanes there but then it would go straight up to over there let's pause let's let's take a let's take a look for a second yeah that definitely has to move all of that traffic coming down to my bus station in that little section there is not very good so i'm thinking this space here because what we could do is we could attach it to that road oh little jump where are we going there we go we could attach it to that road we could attach it to this road and sort of split the traffic a bit and see how it goes so let's see what we can do let us bring in i'm pretty sure that only has like a little two lane road going into it so bomb 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 bom. let us go with a two lane road with trees let's bring that across like that and we want that to attach to this one as well so we're gonna change that yeah there we go we'll leave the bridge yeah we'll leave the bridge to four lane because then what they can do is they can go right left yeah that's fine we'll do that and then, wondering whether we could just... If we went like that... And then would our bus station fit in there? What I'm going to do is I'm not going to move that bus station. You can't see me pointing with my fingers, but I am. I'm going to put in a new one. Like here. I mean, I could even have it one way. One way in, one way out. But then they'd all split over there somewhere. Let's leave it as two-way and see how it goes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the stops over to here. Um, and see how that helps. So we need some more... Oh, we get an AMSR or ASMR? What is it? On the, <laughs> on the adverts. Oh, dear. Let's go with that there. Yep. That'll do that. Let's just mute the stupid advert while we're doing it. The talking ones annoy me. If you haven't been on my channel for long, you'll know why. Where's the darn thing gone? I've lost it. Where's... Oh, there it is. Over here. So, let's just pause the game. Let us take a look at the stops. We want that one there. 
Oh my goodness me, there's so much in here. Um, let us, we'll leave that on, we'll turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, just turn all the other ones off, that won't have any, we'll turn that off, and we need to put some more walking tools and bus scene sites into, so there's only two bus, wow, that one's massive, there's only two bus routes that actually come through there, okay, well let's move them. So that one stops here, so let's grab that stop and move it to over here. We'll have that one at that end. Yep, that's fine. And then we'll have the other one. I've lost it again. Here it is. Yep. Let's have that one at this end just because it just moves them apart a bit. So that may end up rooting some buses around a way we don't want them to go. What is that? Oh, it's fairly. I thought that was blimps. So that's not going to be used anymore. So all of these buses, all of these people, they're off. They're like, where do we go? Oh, they've all decided we're going to go to the metro instead. Look, it's the next nearest thing. Good, that's fine. And then what we can do is actually delete this. Yeah, and then upgrade this road. Because that is a pretty big through road as well. So let us do that. So that would be this one, this one. Yeah, already selected. Yeah, we're going to have some problems there. What is this? Biofuel bus depot. Well, that can actually move as well. That could come over here. I think that needs to go... Yeah, that can go there. You okay for power? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. You okay for water? Yeah. Let's just add a little tiny touch of water for you. There we go. Yep. So they're starting to come up and down there. Very good. And then the only other thing is our metro. That's going to be a pain to move because we've got this all lined up nicely. If I upgrade that road and put anarchy on, what's going to happen? The metro's going to end up on the road. Yeah, that ain't going to work, is it? If I use this to do that, will everything still stay connected? Yes, it will. And it won't mess up too much. I'm thinking whether to move all of this under here. I don't really want it. Let's just stick with that. Let's let's just go with that. Leave it as it is. And then we're going to put offices in here. Um, and what is this here? We've got like a little park. Is that actually set as a park? Yeah. There we go. That whole area is a park. Okay, fine. So we're going to just give this a bit of time. And once these buses have all gone. I'm just actually checking the bus routes again. Just one more thought. Do we need to upgrade that road? No. So they will not be coming up there. They will be coming up here. So we're going to change that one. So that was six lane with buses and trees. No, that's tram. This one. No, that was tram as well. Where's the one with just this one? Four lane boulevard with bikes. No. Oh, that's because we were on the wrong flipping thing altogether. We were on trams. This one here. I was right. It was the one at the end. Bus, tram. I can't believe we find it. Where's the one? Here it is. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, good grief. Yeah, so we want buses coming down there. Where else do we have bus lines coming through? There it is. So down this one. Oh, I've got anarchy on. Don't want to do it with anarchy on in case I mess anything up. I think we're okay. And then pretty sure they come down this way as well. Although that is not too busy, but I am going to upgrade this one. Anywhere the bus goes, we want... Yeah, we'll, up... we'll do anarchy on that one. That's a bit funny for some reason. There we go, and then that comes down into here. So that's fine. Um... Yeah, go on then. We'll do that. We'll have bus lanes there. And then are they going up this road? No. They're going along there, turning around there and coming back. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll leave them to do that. We'll leave them to do that. That's fine. So I think that should be... So that's all up. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's see how that goes. Let's take another look at our traffic. 75%. Okay, so we haven't made it any worse. That's good. But that's definitely going to help this section here, most definitely. Right, it's telling us we need a load of industry. Now, what I've been doing is removing my industry from here. Pushing it back down this way. We could add a few more bits of industry in, actually. Let's do that. Let's go along there. To sort of keep the industry away from this main junction, which has actually helped. That has actually helped. Um, we could have a few more shops along there. Should we do that? That doesn't need any shops. We'll leave that section there. Um, what should we do? Should we have... I think we need a whole new area for industry. Let's see if we can add some more in that's going to actually get some money. So what have we been earning so far? Nothing from farming. Forestry quite low. Ore and oil quite good. Farming. Let's see. Where could we have some farms? Well, we could have some right in the middle of our city. We're not going to do that. This was mostly farming, but that is mostly gone. There we go. From there. Oh, thank you. We have up here a nice farming area and over there. What are we up to? 72. Oh, we're so close. We need 75 to unlock. And then after that, 90. I don't know why this changes. In my other city, it's 75. You've unlocked everything. This is 19. You unlock everything. It's weird the way that it works. But anyway. Oh, let's unmute that. There we go. So if we're going to do some farms, it's going to have to be this section up here. So maybe just off here we could have a small farming district just in this section. What's the pollution like here? Let's close that one down. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. What's that leisure? Oh, yeah. Pollution. No pollution at all. Excellent. So if we built, excuse me, if we built off of this road, it wouldn't have to be anything too big. Let's go with that one. Couldn't come straight across. We'd have to have some sort of junction. Let's have the junction a bit further on down here. Let's have that a bit bigger. Mm. Actually, let's look at this roundabout. We've got... There could go out. So we could have come in... Yeah, just thinking. We'd have one way in and then one way out up there. Let's do that instead. So let's take... This one, we're going to go in here. We're going to come down. Where do we want to go to? About there. Yes, perfect. We're going to go up and over this. If I've left myself enough space. Nope. Let's go up. Can you let me get that one? No, you won't. Let's turn off the road guidelines. We'll go up and over. Into the middle, out to there. Perfect. And then down to there. And if they want to leave, they can leave up here somewhere. I mean, that hopefully... I know that's quite near that junction, but that hopefully should be okay. We'll see how that goes. We may... If this suddenly gets an increase in traffic, we may need to remove the tram lines in the middle here and have them cut around the outside or something. We'll see how that goes. Uh, incineration plant, that can go. That can move elsewhere. Let's pop that. We've got a park in the middle there. Somewhere that's not too far. In fact, I'm just going to move it around here. Yeah, let's move it there. So they can go up there and choose which way they're going to go. Excellent. So let us put a zone in here. What am I doing? Zone, zone this. Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm putting this on to see where the farm is. So if all of this became a farming zone. Just this side for now. Let's take that. We're going to bring that in. There we go. Can I follow that road and tidy that bit up? I can. And then down here. Thank you very much. And then up there. So we'll draw some roads into this. Underhill Park. Right, we're going to name this off a of Patreon. Thank you very much for those supporting me on Patreon, even at $1 or $3 a month. You are supporting me much more than watching all of the adverts on my channel, so I do really appreciate it. Thank you, guys and girls. This is going to be 
We're going to change this. Yes, I've been using my controller again. Wolf Farms. That's why this is popping up. Steam thinks I need Steam big screen, but I don't. Wolf Farms. Excellent. So, people are already using this. As you can see. Let's take... I always like the gravel roads for farms. Don't ask me why. It's just the way I do it. In fact, let's come up here. Nope. Let's come along there. And along there. Yep, that fits well. And then we can do the same over this way. And the same over that way. I don't want to overdo it. Because I know what I like. And we'll put too much in. And then nobody will end up using them. So we'll see how it goes. That should be okay. Almost. Let's just pop another one through the middle. There we go. That'll do. Let us fill this one up. So, oh, we haven't set this for farming. So let's do that. Wolf farms. And we've also got some right in the farming zone and some outside the farming zone as well. This is the one I want to look at. Yes. So we'll get some production as well as farming. Let's grab all of those. Let's, in fact, take those off the main road. And take those off the main road. And take those off the main road. Are these okay here? No, let's take those off as well. Yeah, there we go. These are going to need some sort of access to these things. So let's see, what have we got? We've got access in there. These guys this side don't seem to have any access to good stuff, do they? Maybe we could sort of share these around so both get good access. If we put that in here somewhere... No, we're not going to be able to do both. There we go. People are moving in already. Fantastic. So that's good. We're getting some proper farms over here with the cows and the sheep and the moos and the pigs and the stuff. And then over here we're getting... There we go. Let's have a look. Beefcake. So these are going to turn those items into things, which is nice, which is good. And then we'll get these traveling around and then um, hopefully they're not going to travel like around this way and then over there to down here they'll just take this road through i mean if they need to leave they can come up here and go out there so we'll see how that goes what are you waiting for here why are you stopping oh my goodness this is all backing up all the way over here because of this isn't it yeah it's because of this this bad junction here now we did find out in our other city that the end station worked and i've got a lot of people saying that they're using this one because that one's nearer than this one the only reason we put down this station is because the end one wasn't working at all so if i take this one out here i mean i can just turn that off and it will stop trains going in there. There we go. A load of them will disappear. We'll see if they use that instead. But that is a terrible, terrible junction. But I, I suppose if we've turned it off, they're not going to use it. Although some people are still going there. Look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to delete that. You trains are just going to disappear. And we'll see whether they carry on using this or not. Are you, like, causing me a problem there? I think he is. He's decided just to stay there. Well, okay. You sort yourselves out. We'll have a look at that another day. Yeah, there we go. Look, the farms are moving. It. We still need more farms. Fantastic. Okay, so this is growing up nicely. They're saying they need more people. So, actually, let's not add all these offices in because people are going to go and work at those, aren't they? I want them to come in and work at the farm. So, let's leave a couple of offices in. I've added some more high-rise uh, down here. Hopefully, some people will start moving into them. There we go got some nice demand so that should sort that out but that's definitely going to start earning us some more money 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 uh, in the farming area which is good so let oh metropolis excellent we now get an airport which is good and we get planes and we need to get ninety thousand to unlock everything and get the monuments and the international airport we are nearly there Let's look at our traffic. 76%. Not quite as high as the 85 that I had pre-recording. You'll have to trust me on that. We did have that. Mm, 
maybe some of these junctions these roads here need another look at we'll see we'll see we definitely need a massive monorail system we are short on that uh you seem to be struggling for trash i'll tell you i know what that is i've turned off a lot of the landfills around here so you're struggling aren't we i don't want that i want to delete that let's pop another couple of these in there we go that will help excellent so if you enjoyed this episode hit the big b with the tea stain to subscribe check out some of the other videos on the screen that you see right now of course as always any suggestions keep them coming and what square are we going to unlock let me know in the comments below i am thinking we're going to start getting these ones here what do you reckon see you soon take care bye, -bye.